Hi there, Sophia here. Today I'm going to show you how to get instant volume in your hair and some very easy steps. Now you'll notice that I just got my hair out of the hot curlers. What I generally do is I take some spray, I run my fingers through my hair very gently. This is when I'm doing a hot curler set. Then I bend my head over, take some of the spray, which is my favorite spray, the um, generic of the Sebastian Super Shaper Plus, and I spray very lightly all over, underneath my hair and above. Then I take my trusty claw clip. I get this big one. I like it because it gets a big section so of hair and lifts it very nicely at the root. So I go like this, take it in here, loop it across, and then just let it sit there while I'm putting on my makeup. So sometimes if I want extra lift, I will spray the sides of it. And then when I'm finished, I take it down, run my fingers through it, and I'm ready to go. Now, if I have something special to go to and I want to add memory to the roots, then I go in and I tease my hair. And that's what I'm going to show you today. It's a very simple procedure. It really, really works, but you have to have the right tools. And these are my tools. First of all, I use this. This is very handy. You can tuck this into your purse and touch it up. If you have a full day that you're out on the road and then you have something special to go to that night, you can't go home first and freshen up, take one of these, take a small size, little travel size of hairspray, pop it in your tote bag, and then when you're ready to freshen up and go, you can always redo these steps. But what I do is once I take this claw clip out, then I go in with this and I start, I leave this soft because I don't want teasing to start here because then I have this big bouffant look and that's not what I'm going for. I just want something that has volume and that will last and make my hair look thicker. And also when you get height from the crown up, it's more flattering look because it instantly slims down your face and also lifts the eye up. So this is these are my steps. First I take the end of this now, I always use a brush. I know there's lots of combs out there for teasing, but they really don't work nearly as well as this. As you will see, this has plastic bristles, and it also has just the other types, like the regular boar bristles. So you have two types, and these go in very nicely close to the root, and then the other ones just kind of push the hairs in, and that's, I think, what really makes it stay. So I go in, I'm going to lean my head over so you can see. Take a section up. I go in small sections. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see how I just tease the root about an inch up. Go in here and tease. I do about maybe four or five going straight down. Now all of this, again, depends on how much volume you want, but since I have a lot of layers in my hair, I find that that works really well. Now I come in here on this side, taking the comb a little bit at an angle and not touching this part. I go in here now and staying close to the root, tease the roots there. Go in here, same thing. On the sides, I only do about three sections, just so they'll blend in. Now I'm going to swing around so you can see this side. Same story here. Go in here. Tease. Second section. And the third. As you see, it's a really fast thing. Now, I go in with the spray. The spray that I like to use is Bedhead by TG. So I spray very far with this one because this is not an aerosol spray, so it gives it's kind of wet. So you don't want to get too close, but you do want to get just the roots. So I do the bottom, then I go in, throw some of this back, and it's kind of just like a little bit of a haphazard thing. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to get some product in here. This is a very strong hairspray. Now, <laughs> that's my wild Phyllis Diller look. So 
now is when I start smoothing things down. So I usually run my fingers through because, you know, you can just gently do it. If you run a brush through this, it ruins the whole effect. Then I stick my fingers in and just kind of zhuzh it around and bring it down a bit. Now, as you see, I have a ton of volume in here. So I can either leave it like this, which is pretty, pretty big, or I can just continue combing it through. And once I'm happy with it, I'm going to turn around so you can see. Now back here, of course, I don't have a mirror right now to see how it looks, but you can pretty much tell uh, that it's, it's given it a lot of shape to it, yet you can't really see the teasing. At least I don't think so. And if you can, when you have two mirrors that you're working with, you can fix it so it's nice and smooth. Then I take this and I just go in here with the end of the comb, lift up a little bit, make sure this is smooth, go through it, and then the finishing touch is the hairspray. I don't use bedhead for that. That's only for the roots. Then I go in with this one. Again, the Sebastian. It's the generic of the Sebastian Shaper Plus. And uh, I get this at Sally's. I buy the largest one because I use a lot of it. it. The feel is soft to the touch, but it has tremendous, tremendous staying power. And here we come. I just lightly lift sections up. Again, if I want huge volume, I leave it like that. If not, I just go through, soften it up, run my fingers through it, and voila, there you have voluminous hair. It was very quick. You can do it in under 10 minutes, maybe even five once you do it quicker, and that's it. This lasts all day. I hope you enjoyed my Tuesday tips for this week. Please leave a comment below if there's any other type of videos you would like to see. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. Bye now.